Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I am here to introduce the Chinese portion of the annual polyglot performance. We will start our performance with the poem, Chir Le Ge. Short and terse as it may be, the poem presents the most characteristic, attractive scene of the vast, magnificent steppe where herds of cattle and sheep are grazing at the foot of the Yin Mountains. The distant mountains are silhouetted against the blue sky, with the herds and flocks revealed in the windy pastures. Reading this ideal, one feels elevated and carried away by the breathtaking beauty of the boundless grassy plains, where is heard the pasture symphony of wind blowing, grass hustling, cow mooing, and sheep bleeding. Our next poem we're going to present is Viewing the Waterfall in Mount Lusha. It's written by Li Bai. Li Bai is generally considered China's greatest poet of the classical period. His romantic poems, stemming from traditional Chinese folk ballads, rejoice in pleasure of drinking wine, experiencing nature, and the joys and sadness of love and friendship. His work was widely read and imitated and greatly influenced the work of later Chinese writers, earning him the title of Celestial Poet. One of Levi's best-known poems is Viewing the Waterfall at Mount Lucia.
question. We have a few trivia questions for you. And John Lausch is going to hand out um, some bookmarks for you if you win. So you definitely want to win this. All right, the first question is, what is the capital of China? Back there? Just shout it out. Beijing. Woo, you won. <laughs> Okay, now can someone name one of the dynasties? <laughs> Usa? Was there the Qing dynasty? Yes, that's what? great. The Qing, Qing dynasty. <laughs> <laughs> How about what's the most common dialect spoken in China? Mandarin. Correct. What is the Chinese zodiac for this year? Rachel? Is it the rat? No. <laughs> <laughs> this is the goat or the sheep, depending on the, the sheep. The sheep, yes. Is the goat or the ram Sheep. He's a wise goat, okay? Yes. <laughs> okay. The last question is how many minority groups are in China? Threat in the back? 46 is wrong. <laughs> higher. Go higher. 80. Alex? Is it 57? No. Nope. Very, very close. It's, it's lower than 57, but higher than 46. In the back? 52. No. Threat? 56! <laughs> Great. So our last piece that we're going to perform for you today is Xiao Bing Guo, and it means Little Apple. So after its release in 2014, Little Apple or Xiao Bing Guo um, by the Chopstick Brothers became the most watched video of all on Chinese social media. It's wild and it's catchy and it doesn't take itself too seriously, so I hope you enjoy. Join us in advance if you know the song. And how sweet more gifts. Thank you. 